boys and girls. Today I want to talk to you about something really important in your writing. I really want you to think about how you're writing and how you're talking to your reader. So there's several different ways that you can talk to your reader. Many of you are using a voice in which you are a friend and you're sharing information. You're like, hey, have you ever, you know, eaten a banana sundae? Or I bet you have annoying brothers and sisters. That's one style of writing and you're using a certain voice. That's appropriate at certain times, but other times it's not, and you need to be careful how you use that voice. Many times when you're writing expository writing, you want to make sure that you sound like a scientist, that you sound like you know what you're talking about, not just somebody's friend. So I have this time for kids here, and it's one that you should remember, um, and it says ready for takeoff, and I talked about the flying vehicles that we read about. Um, I'm going to read a little bit to you, and it says... It's all about skywriters. So it says, You missed the school bus, so your parents call a car service. Soon a flying vehicle appears. It lands in front of your home and you hop in. The craft glides over traffic and lands at your school. This scene could be a reality soon. You should really think about what it would be like to have a flying car. So you can see how the author is kind of talking to the reader like they're friends. That's a very different type of writing. Then this one, solving a medical mystery. This is more factual. Okay, so for more than 20 years, families in Muzaffarpur, India, faced a deadly mystery. During the night, children came down with a fever. Then they slipped into a coma, which is a deep sleep-like condition. More than 100 children died each year. No one could figure out why. So, boys and girls, you really want to be careful with your voice when you talk directly to the reader, and you say. Hey, I bet you, and when you use that word you, you make the writing less formal. You make it less scientific. So be careful how you write. Look at your piece and see, do you have the word you where you're talking directly to the reader? If so, see if you can take that out and make it more like a scientist explaining information.